Getting serious now about cigarette trafficking here in the Commonwealth with a new bill. Yeah, the governor says the problem is all too common and it's costing Virginians millions. Parker Slaybaugh has the latest from Richmond. What I will never tolerate is someone coming in and ripping off our Virginia taxpayers and that's exactly what has been happening. And that has been happening all too often. What happens is individuals create a fake business such as a fake convenience store. They become tax exempt and buy cigarettes in bulk from a wholesale location. Problem comes when instead of selling them in a store here locally, charging sales tax, that person takes them out of state to sell them. We're losing about ten and a half million dollars every year through through smugglers who come buy our cigarettes, don't pay taxes on it, they're supposed to, and then take most of these cigarettes up to New York City. These bills create a new requirement that purchasers of cigarettes specifically for resale must apply for a special cigarette exemption certificate directly from the Department of Taxation. This in order to not be liable for the payment of sales tax. If you now uh, buy more than 50 cartons or over $10,000. We're going to track it now. We're going to have record keeping to track it so we can keep a good eye on exactly what's happening. And if you violate this law first time, class one misdemeanor. You do it a second time, class six felony. We will come after you and we will put you in prison. And that was Parker Slaybaugh reporting there. District Delegate Rich Anderson says this measure will bring approximately $10 million back to taxpayers each year. Well, this week.